If you've just bought your new age van and you want to go off grid and it's only got one battery, one solar panel, I'll show you what we've done with this one. Hi guys, Andrew here from Accelerate Auto Electrics and Air Conditioning. I'm just going to give you a quick run through of a lithium conversion we've done to this new age Oz Classic. So the customer came to us, it only had one 100 amp battery and one 150 watt panel on the roof. So basically no off-grid capabilities. Um, he wants to go off-grid, wants everything to work, as in aircon, microwaves, washing machines, obviously being the Oz Classic, it's fitted out with everything. So um, yeah, we're getting this working for him off-grid. So what we've done, we've removed the 100 from outside, bought the cables inside, and then we've fitted this monster Invicta 300 amp hour battery. So um, Invicta obviously goes with the new age, that's what they're using now in their new vans. Um, it's a full Bluetooth battery, so it can be sh you can monitor it with an app, and obviously all ties in with his current BM Pro HA with Odyssey display. So um, when we we've reprogrammed the HA, which it already had, so that makes it very easy and, and obviously cost-effective conversion. We've added a DC DC charger. Um, they, most of them don't come stand with a DC DC charger, so we've added that again to make the alternator charging from the vehicle lithium compatible. And then the other thing to do, so basically that's our 240 charging, which is just reprogramming. That's our DC-DC charger that we've fitted. And then the third way to charge it obviously is solar. So we've added another two 150 amp, sorry, watt red arc panels. Um, they're on the roof. That gives us a total of 450 watts. We've also got space maybe for another panel if we remove the aerial, this thing's got satellite. Um, but we'll run it with the 450, see how he goes. If he needs more solar, then we'll look at removing that aerial. But hopefully 450 watts, 300 amps of solar, will keep up with the usage he wants. To get all that to then run all his appliances, we've fitted a quite large inverter that I'll move over and show you in a minute. It's a 3000 watt red arc one. Um, up here, we've installed the remote switch. So basically on off there, once you fire that up, everything will go beep and then we've basically got full 240 volts in the van. Um, I'm going to move slow. Down here is the 3000 watt inverter. Basically the Red Arc 1 is his footprint is quite short and it's tall. So that means that we could get everything here in these two underbench seats. Um, we spoke with the customer, he didn't really utilize these for storage, he, he more uses under bed area and so on. So this became the perfect fit, we, that battery fits in to there and the, the inverter is pretty similar. So it keeps it all the way underneath, unused space and um, yeah, pretty much gets everything working. So he can expect aircon, microwave and washing machine all to work off grid. So yeah, these are actually, new ages are set out very well, especially if you've already got the HA. Um, they lend themselves very easily towards lithium conversion. So we've, we've done a few fair, fair few of them. If you've got any questions on this one or any other vans and you're welcome to send us photos and get, so we can give you ideas where to put things, give us a call on 1300 227 353. Email us at info at ama.net.au or feel free to drop a comment below.